I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to this version, look for links below the video to some tutorials. Also, there's a link to a player reference with all the scoring elements in it so that you can follow along. Better yet, practice yourself. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a wind of the round indicator here. We're going to alternate between east and south. We will use the handy dandy seat randomizer. Roll dice just to see which seat we might be in for that particular random pull. Because anytime you're playing a game. Your seat wind or the wind of the round could have an impact on your potential yaku. East round. Seat four. That would be north. First random pull. One crack is Dora. Pair of red dragon, that's called Yakuhai. That's worth one Han if we could pwn that. We have a pair of sevens. I think what I would do here is play Yakuhai alone. We have Chi potential in here, 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 and here's a pair. One, two, three, four, five. I would start by discarding the nine bam see what happens. Nice having all these dragons, but as singles with this shape, not helpful. We'd need to pair those up to pung them. So I think I would play Yakuhai alone. Okay, on to the next one. South round. Five dot is Dora. Look at all those honors. We have a nine and a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. Seven towards 13 orphans. I covet that hand. 13 orphans is a Yakuman. One of each wind, one of each dragon, one of each one and nine. I think what I would do here is probably oof, play outside hand. That means we'd have to throw away a pair of fives. Oh, shoot. Outside hand is where you have honors, pawns, pair. And then a one or a nine in each set. We have a two for a one, two, three, a nine, an eight, seven, nine for seven, eight, nine cheese. So I think I would need to sacrifice the five crack and play outside hand. If you would do something different here, let me know. We would have one, two, three discards for outside hand. If we played, let's say, half flesh, we're in between cracks and bams with all those single honors. I think outside hand, sacrifice the five cracks. If you would do something different here, let me know. I think probably I would start by discarding the five bam and just take it pick by pick. And see what comes in. If cracks come in, we could leverage cracks and that pair and play Honitsu, which is one suit with winds and dragons. But I think my primary focus would be outside hand. I believe that's called, what's it called? Chanta. 
outside hand is called chanta. It's exposable and it's one han. Obviously, we would need to pair up. It's south round. That could bring score. We're in north seat, and these could potentially bring score if we pair up and pwn. I think that's what I would do here. Chanta. East round. Random pull three. I rolled a nine, so we're going to say this time we're dealer. Five crack is Dora. Okay, I think what I would do here is Pinfu. See all those number tiles? There's a chi right there. There's a pair, potential chi, isolated. Here's a potential chi, isolated. One, two, three, four. So we would definitely need more number tiles. We need another chi in here. I would throw these first. Play Pinfu and Richi here. We do have a three crack. If we can get a four crack, we might be able to do something with Dora. I would definitely play Pinfu and Ricci here. South round. I rolled a six. That would be south. South seat. The progression of wins is east, south, west, north. Eat soup with nuts. So north is Dora. Pair, pair. Even though we have pairs, there's chi potential in here. I think I would throw south and red first. Here's a potential chi. There's a pair or potential chi there. Potential chi, pair or potential chi. This is isolated. I think what I would probably do here is throw these first and play Pinfu and Richi. Maybe even discard the nine because we have all simples, all numbers two through eight here. I would hold that for a while. Discard these first. Pinfu, Ricci, maybe all simples. There's even a side weight. Four dot or seven dot. Even though we have that right there. We'll see. I would definitely try Ricci and Pinfu here. East round. This time, let's say we are 10. That would be south. So we're going to be in south seat. Random pull five. Nine crack is Dora. East round, south seat, neither of those are going to bring score. We have one, two, three pair. I think I would start by discarding these wins. Even though we have pairs here, 
we do have potential cheese. One, two, two, three, eight, nine. So I think what I would do is discard these first, play Pin Fu. We even have a little bit of an opportunity here for a uh, pure straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need a five dot or a six dot to really have more confidence in that potential Yaku. So I would start here, discard those, collect number tiles, leverage the pairs, maybe. If we get one more pair, play Toy Toy, which is all three of a kind. If we draw a five dot or a six dot, maybe Pure Straight and Pinfu, Richie, those are all potential Yaku with this set of tiles. South round, last random pull. This time, let's say we're in north seat. East is Dora. Eat soup with nuts. Back to eat. Eat soup with nuts. Pair, pair, pair. One, two, three, pair. Dora, potential score, Yakuhai. Any pawn of dragons is called Yakuhai, as is the seat or wind of the round, all called Yakuhai. Those could bring score. I think I would try for Toy Toy here. Try to pair up. I think I would discard these first. Because if we draw in a one, two dot and maybe an eight crack, we could play outside hand with ones, nines, and honors. I would say toy toy or outside hand. Maybe both. Well, if we played um, outside hand with toy toy, we'd have to throw these away. I'd rather leverage them. I think toy toy is probably most likely here, and I would try for that. Pair up and pwn. The purpose of this exercise is to practice identifying potential Yaku. If you have a set at home and you're new to this version, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you identify potential Yaku. Make sure that you download the player reference so that you can learn the Yaku. You gotta have at least one Yaku to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.